Most people don't understand the true meaning of the word obsession. It's like a current that runs into your bloodstream and becomes a part of you. It fills your dreams and consumes your thoughts. It compromises your judgment, but firms your resolve. For as long as he can remember, fly fishing guide Mario Gell has been completely obsessed with one thing. I just will think about life and I'll think about things going on and then it's like, man, I need a smile or something. And then I'll just think about tacos and I'll think about fly fishing. It's what works for me. Fly fishing saved my life. And before that, it was tacos. And I would always be searching for tacos. And so it's super comparable to fly fishing because it's like you have to put in the work to find the spots. I love taco hunting. I love it. I love trying to find a new place. When I go to Montana, I look for tacos. When I go to Idaho, I look for tacos. When I go to Alaska, I look for tacos. When I go to Mexico, I look for tacos. I'm always looking for tacos. Tacos do have power. Crunchy and greasy, man. <laughs> the crunchy and greasy, mix them together. Makes people smile. <laughs> Could it really be that simple? Could crunchy and greasy tacos truly be enough to keep a man happy? To keep him fed? Life as a professional fly fishing guide is tough work. Rowing, talking, pointing at things, day in, day out. It takes a toll on a man. There must be more to this equation, a missing piece of the puzzle. There must be a reason why Mario Gell is always just so damn happy. Special beers. So today I'm going to show you how to make a special beer. Special beers are a wonderful addition for any day on the river or the lake or on your couch or on a Sunday or on a Saturday or when you wake up on a Sunday or wake up on a Monday. All right, first things first, this is the most important step. So when you crack that beer, you don't crack it all the way. You crack it with a little slice, just a little opening right there on the mouth. There you go. And you can see there's a little gap in there. You don't want it all the way because we're gonna dress this on top and as we're dressing it, the ingredients are going into the beer while you're talking to your friends and you're cooking up these special beers. That's part of what makes it um, taste so good and different than other ways. So next, we want our limes. So we put our limes in, on top of the beer. As you're talking with your friend, you can see little drops of lime are going in there. All right, so next thing, sea salt. Now you can be generous. If you don't like a lot of salt, you can go a little bit. I kind of like a, a lot of salt on my special beers. And now your hot sauce. Got your tahini. Now, as you can see, little bubbles are, are forming on top of that. And so I'll put the tahini there. I personally like a lot of tahini on top of mine. And you can see it's still bubbling. That's perfect. Now, for my last sauce, I think today what I'm going to do is actually do the Melinda's Extra Hot. And there you go. You got your special beer. So now the next step is super important, too. You have to be sure that you uh, instruct your, your comrades that they need to crack it and drink it right away. Because when you crack it, all of that salt's going to go in there it's gonna foam up. So that's part of the fun of the special beer, is it's a crack and a slam. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this special beer today. So here we go. So now when you have a treat on top, what you can do is you can just kinda grab that, crack. It's so good. It's good every time. Enjoy your special beers on the water. Drink responsibly, don't make mistakes, have fun, enjoy life. Thanks for watching.
Monteado, 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 Monteado,